Hey everyone, it's Matt from Akuma Mods. Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys um, how I get prints off a little easier. So obviously we have a failed print here. It's a little underexposed and there's some icky stuff. So we gotta check out our resin afterwards. But the point of this video today is to show you what I use to scrape things off of a build plate that are kind of hard. You know, they're usually stuck on pretty well to these build plates. So as you can see, you can't just like scrape them off like you could an FDM printer or anything else. It doesn't really work that way. So a good buddy of mine, James Bradshaw, <clears throat> who got me into resin printing, uses one of these or something similar to it. Basically, it's just a, uh, a really flat razor scraper. And uh, this one's kind of nice because it opens up and it's just easy to use. So, um, but this will get you the leverage to take it right off super simple super easy look at that it just comes right off boom so as you can see we we have a lot more failure than than what's uh what we should on this so we're gonna have to check the resin actually but you can see it just comes right off like no problem just like butter so just wanted to give you guys that little tip that um, these little razors, they work very, very well. Uh, much better than a scraper, but the scraper does come in handy. Um, if I do use a scraper, I usually use a secondary scraper or at least something to, um, to press the butt of this. And that way I can scrape across my build plate on that. So that's something that... Um, that you might want to take into consideration too if you don't want to spend the extra cash on one of these. You can always use this and just, it's kind of hard to hold it, but you can hold the whole build plate and just kind of tap it along and it'll chisel its way off of the bed. <clears throat> now, obviously, like if you have something like a, uh, um, a mini octopus, you know, you probably don't want to be doing that because obviously you're going to break the articulating arms but if you have something that's a solid piece then by all means you could go ahead and do that but i will say that this is the best bang for your buck for scrapers um you definitely want to get one of these just to have in your collection because if you're in a rush and you can't get your print off with this this will definitely take it off right away so figured i'd give you guys that little tip if you guys like the tip Go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up for the video. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, we, uh, we've got some more uh, videos coming out here. And uh, share it out with your friends. Until next time, happy printing.